it's just exceptional because it's this this angst like it's this young person angst but also this frustration and 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 thrill in a way as well there's like so many bizarre emotions kind of lining the side of this aria um and of course what makes it more interesting is it's like such a heightened moment but you're in a room with us like you're literally in this hotel room you know this you know it's not like the Westin, right? Like it's it's just this random hotel room in Dublin, right? That you know, some woman probably has a couple of rooms upstairs, and you know, he's right, he's getting a key. It's like a hostel kind of situation almost. And I mean, it's just to to be able to be invited into a space like that and like live in this space with these two characters in the way that they've actually done the set design is just really fascinating. I mean, I don't think I've I've done anything quite like that. Shit like this. Shit like so her name is Mary Motorhead. It's a nickname that's been given to her because she has a temper. And um, it's really fun to play somebody who goes to that kind of edge of, you know, I mean, rageful enough to attempt to kill your husband, you know, by stabbing him through the head. And then to be in this place where she's in prison looking back on her life and she talks about um, how the world has its big history. Everybody has their big history, which is just your dates, where you were born, who you grew up with. And it's a short little paragraph and that everybody has a secret history as well. And that that is far more interesting, but harder to describe because it's all little moments. I always felt like the piece needed to be sung by at least five people, that this was a story that had to be told by a community. Um, and every community has many different kinds of voices and musical styles. And in, there's some improvisation in the piece, not a huge amount, but a little bit. And so that everyone's improvisational styles are pretty different. Um, and that just felt to me like it kind of gave more of a range of um, the kinds of music that are out there just felt more true to the to the story of a community telling it. I really can just like stare at objects for a very long time and I, I don't really like take anything for granted about them and so um, you know when Gelsey is like well we can play these bowls I was thinking maybe we could play these bowls and so suddenly it's like all right we're in a workshop just looking at bowls and kind of seeing what do they feel like what do they look like and the whole creative team is is down to explore what the potential, the performative potential of the, these bowls are, whether that's by playing them, whether that's by lighting them in interesting ways, and kind of thinking, well, how do these bowls start to take on meaning over time by the way we, we handle them throughout the piece? Um, 